Okay, I'm Louise Bales. Uh, I've been a serious artist since we opened the shop 28 years ago. And I do did mostly paintings, but today I do a tremendous amount of gourds. It's the most asked question I get. What is this? And this is a gourd. And they're all different sizes, all different shapes. And these just came in for the summer. There's 300 of them. All sizes, all shapes. But the starting place is you have to hand pick the color of the gourd that you want. This one is a real dark one. This one is a real light one. Uh, if you're painting a bluebird or a hummingbird, you have to have a really light colored gourd. So you have to camouflage the color of the gourd. And when you look at that, it has blue and green and yellow and white. If I'm doing a hummingbird, it's got green and yellow and whatever color of flowers I'm gonna put on it. But step one is every gourd is a different size. So every bird has to be a different size. And they make little one-of-a-kind originals because you're doing these one at a time. And then whatever you finish the painting on today goes home tonight and it gets the finish. And that is basically, you know, the start to the finish of the gourds. And depending on that particular bird depends on the background. The eagle is a real, you spend all your time on the beak and the eye and then you can cheat on everything else. A little goldfinch has to have a heavy background or he doesn't show up. And then I have some weird birds. I call it about every four days I do a strange bird day. What about your bears? <laughs> oh, the little bears. You know, it's got a b heavy background on it. And it's kind of my memory of the Smokies. It's a mountain scene a couple of fir trees and a silhouette of a little bear. And then when I get, I call it birded out. When I get birded out, I stop and I do a picture, uh, either a small or a large, and usually watercolor or acrylic, whatever I have on hand. And then I'm ready to go back to the little birds. But this is a little three by three, a four by four. And these will get little mountain scenes. Occasionally I'll put birds on them, but most of the time to get away from the birds just for a, a little while, I'll do little mountain scenes. I always painted for a hobby. It was my pastime. And when we opened the shop here, I thought, oh my gosh, what have I done? I've got to paint something someone would buy. And the piece on the wall, Kevin, is the first piece that I ever painted when we opened the doors of the Cliff Dwellers. It, it is my favorite piece. I was born and raised downtown Gatlinburg. The main street was my playground. What a great playground. And to me, it's still a great playground. You know, it's got a lot of stuff that, uh, I call it the hoopla. I love it. I have to take my stroll downtown every now and then. And I just, it's a great town. It's got a little bit of everything. You know, not everybody, you know, I want everybody to come to the craft community. I want everybody to come see us. The Cliff Dwellers is located on Glades Road in the Arts and Crafts community, right next to the Jim Gray Gallery.